think it's just as I predicted. The loss of uh, Ryuto have uh, really not uh, been doing good for Kisu or Bate's mind. And uh, I mean, Bate has really become an arrogant man and uh, pretty unstable, if you ask me. So, uh, right now they made a mistake, and it seems like Olsen fooled everyone. I do not know what kind of game he's doing here, but he seems to be playing. I thought Morten's strategy was some kind of hit and run technique, but it seems like he is not the only one doing that. But I still don't know what I exactly could call this. I'm not well well reversed in that, so feel free to correct me and take your corrections of all this. Yes, this is the Kingdom Chapter 5 to 1, and I am the Angry Enemy fan, the even more despair reviewer. Uh, reading hatred online is just making it pretty difficult to keep on living, you know. So either way, it's... Uh, but in this chapter, Mot and Army are doing very good, much to the frustration of Bate and Kisu. So, uh, Bate losing his patience runs out without listening to his lord by taking 100 commanders with, his, with him. That, as I said in the beginning, I begin to think that Bate has become... a. I said last week that Kisu may have become a little bit more unstable since Ryuto uh, was killed by uh, Kyokai. And it seems like he is not the only one. Bate's arrogance was shown a very lot last time. And actually, in frequently this arc, his, his arrogance and his hotheadedness has increased tremendously. So, uh, it see, and it seems that's the case. Pay note, he ignored his lord. The guy who, I don't know if he was the right or the left hand, but I think he's the right, because you normally always say the right hand is the most important, right? I mean, of course, if you're left-handed, then you would technically have your... Never mind! What I'm trying to say is, the very fact that he did not listen to his lord just further proves my point that... Bate has become a little bit more hot-headed. Mote, realizing it's Bate because they have information on them, er, retreats, much to his frustration. In his inner monologue, he reveals that the, the info on him has been called him that uh, he is the closest of Kisu's vassals, and while he's not bad at tactics, mostly, what he mostly does is having overwhelming strength, which is one of the reasons I thought Shin would defeat him. But I guess this makes him a worthy opponent for Morten. While Morten is not weak by any means, he... I think I would say he is the one who mostly uses strategic techniques in both sword play and in warfare to do that. I mean, Olsen uh, no, uh, no, Ohon could be considered a combination of both. He is a strategic, but he's also a very hard hitter but also finesse, so I think his jack of all trades, and Shin, he is just pure muscle. So, uh, I guess in the end, those three promising generals is a great combination of each other, wouldn't you agree? I guess that's one of the reasons why Grandpa Ten always said that they need to unite together. But so far, they have not. Even though uh, Bate catches up to many, many of the armies, even though uh, the Adjutant, Ad, Adjutant Corson, the Gramps, and many of the others appear where they are all trying to overcome Bate, but he slashes right through uh, a couple of his soldiers without any problem, still showing his anger, as Morten realizes that uh, the reports of his strength were greatly exaggerated. They were even more dangerous. Meanwhile, Kisu looks at the, look at the battlefield and realizes that... Um, Morten is definitely not someone who should be underestimated. It's pretty nice that Kisu, a guy that's been hyped up to have be a secret power, is actually, uh, well, not revealing, that was the wrong word, uh, acknowledging the fact that Morten is someone like that. Uh, he, uh, seen, but it's also worth noting that Morten fights in a different approach that Kisu is worth um, known for. Kisu mostly relies on moral support, I think. But uh, he wonders, uh, uh, he mentions that they have adopted an approach that involves rapidly striking and disengaging again, which is, I think, basically like what I said, my hit and run. 
So Kisu decided that if they, in that case, they would just need to lay all their 3,000 men and destroy the left flank in one crippling blow. As uh, if motivated by anything else, the Kisu army quickly switches to right, just head right towards uh, Motem. Only for the very, very, very big surprise, a uh, Shin army appears from over their flanks, what is it? right or left flank or over the hill like a big tsunami heading towards them and what is that well that is none other than the man who should have been with awesome in the central army is five thousand men of the maku army the maku who is also known as general awesome's left-handed man so yeah it seems that was the bait Seems it's not only Morten who's using hit and run tactics. I don't know how I can translate this, but it seems to be that uh, that was what Orson was expecting, or was that what uh, the left hand of Orson, uh, Mako, were expecting? By um, have by Kisu pointing all of their attention towards one target would make them lose the, their eyes on a surprise attack made by another army. Therefore, uh, they would not have seen it. Even Kisu wonders, like, how the hell did he reach over here? Did he push all the way from the center? And so, the reports making that apparently that he is not the only one, as another 5,000 cavalry is making their heads towards us. Huh. 5,000? If it weren't for the fact that I think uh, Shin will not have any, you know... Uh, uh, achievements this this arc I'm s I, w I would almost think that 5000 army would have been Shin but then again wasn't he something more than a 5000 commander I mean uh, last week they did say he is in the all the way left bank so he cannot be seen by the enemy who knows who that uh, surprise army is it could very well just be uh, Makugo army's other reinforcements, but it seems like a second wave has now overcome them, and um, uh, so it means that the, it seems to imply that the Kisu army are now trapped. Is this where Kisu will meet his end? Well, as I said last week, I would have preferred if uh, Shin or someone else were the one who ended Bate or Kisu's life, but uh, as I also said. Uh, Morten seems to be an obvious opponent for Bate. I mean, in uh, brute strength, I think definitely Bate is stronger. But uh, Morten is the is a genius. I think he can overcome it like that. Although Bate seems to be like Shin, a guy that can use brute force to break through any plans. So who knows? Whatever that secret army is, I don't really know. But it seems to imply that the Kisu army is currently surrounded and this is where they be completely destroyed still I'm wondering I am really do wondering if this chapter is all about the Shin success so how is Riboku gonna react to this or is it possible that the fact that Kisu directed in his entire army toward one place that Kisu no Riboku had no longer any control on them either way pretty amazing moments it's pretty good to see uh, Kisu being fallen all, all over there. But he was hyped last time as a superpower. But now, hmm, now he almost seems to include he's gonna be slain pretty quickly. But you give me your thoughts. If you have any, 